Good morning everyone, Lone Wolf Rick here. And I'm standing at the corner of Paradise and Sands Road. And I'm gonna be heading towards the Las Vegas Strip. I'm doing my 20 minute uh, little walk for exercise here. I'm glad everyone could join me today. Thank you very much. It's a little bit different route. It's like I thought I would show you a little bit more of uh, Las Vegas as we head towards the strip here. It's like off of Sands Avenue here. Uh, we're looking across see this Elysian is an apartment building. And it's right there in the Hughes Center, which is kind of a business center right over here. And we're walking towards Las Vegas' version of the Death Star here. So that's what it reminds me of. Partially finished and fully non-operational, so... See the back side of the uh, Link High Roller. Okay, you see we're coming up on the Palazzo right there. So it kind of gives you an idea of where we're at in relationship to the Strip. I hope everybody had a great weekend. It was a pretty busy weekend for me, but uh, the temperatures were very cool, so it was a really enjoyable weekend. Currently here in Las Vegas, it's about 79 degrees right now. I'm looking to get towards a high of 87. As the temperatures start creeping up a little bit for Heading towards Memorial Weekend here. You look across the way, there's a lot of uh, office complexes and everything. There's that at least some apartment building. But this is part of the Hughes Business Center. All these office spaces and businesses all along here. Everybody, I tried to uh, let everybody know the uh, uh, new concerts that have been announced here in Las Vegas. And unfortunately, this week, uh, no new concerts were actually uh, announced over and above what I announced previously. So I don't have anything to report on those lines. I can tell you that the uh, Resorts World uh, tickets for the future shows that are coming up that are announced go on sale today. Uh, for the artists that have established residency there uh, to include Celine Dion and uh, Carrie Underwood and Katy Perry and Luke Bryan So if you have any interest in those you might check those out uh, Tickets go on sale today uh, However, it's like the shows are not going to start until uh, November December and into next year, so The uh, track for the monorail that runs behind it's like a, the, all the properties runs along this street and then cuts across and runs behind it's like all the properties here on the east side of the strip and it runs all the way down to uh, the convention center which is down that way and uh, and then right behind the Sahara Hotel which is the main uh, the main bay for the uh, the monorail. I see a few workers sitting there working on the Death Star, so it could be uh, 
hopefully uh, sometime in the near future they get that thing done. Uh, they started on it actually the construction before the pandemic and by the look at it I would say it's like the pandemic had pretty much uh, stopped the, uh, the work on it. This fear it's like it's going to uh, hold concerts, uh, meetings, functions, special events, uh, that type of thing. So. Should be interesting once they get it all done here. See the wind over there to the uh, left of the palazzo. There goes the monorail right there. They're actually running tests on it uh, for the next few days. Here we see the wind next to the palazzo there and the Encore and the Resort World just like off in the background there. See the Venetian over here on the left. down the strip the other way there. You see that Weston property right there in the center? Uh, that's on Flamingo Road. Uh, there was a time when um, uh, that was the old Maxim Hotel. Uh, the 70s up to I don't know, 2000, I guess, before it closed down. It was bought out a group that turned it into a Weston. I actually did some work at that hotel, um, this Weston Hotel, but it was the Maxim. Uh, it was brought out of bankruptcy by a bankruptcy trustee who just ran the uh, hotel and restaurant. And it was interesting because at the time, it's like when I was there, I had... Uh, Help set up the surveillance system uh, for the hotel and, and the restaurant. It's like at the time that that was open, and there was actually a murder that happened in that hotel in one of the hotel rooms, uh, where there was a uh, a deal gone bad, and someone was murdered in the room. And uh, me, it's like having been in charge of the uh, surveillance and everything. Uh, I got to work with the C CSI, Las Vegas CSI people. And uh, we had, uh, they caught the people. There were two people, a man and a woman, who had committed the murder. And I actually testified in that trial, uh, that murder trial. And uh, it was an interesting, uh, interesting deal. So I can, I can honestly say for all you fans it's like that have watched uh, uh, CSI, and uh, I think there's a new series coming out uh, this fall. It's like Las Vegas CSI. I actually got to work with the Las Vegas CSI. And uh, the people, the two people that uh, murdered this guy uh, was put in prison for life. And uh, yeah, so a little backstory on me there. And that's at the, uh, what's currently the Weston Hotel right there in the center. show you some of the back area here of the uh, behind the, the wind and the palazzo here beautiful landscaping back there
as we're walking up here on this uh, this sphere here. Good morning. Part of the uh, Sands Expo Convention Center, right there. Good morning. We come up here on the back side of the plaza.
I saw where the, uh, and this doesn't involve the Sands Expo Center, but I did see where the uh, Consumer Electronics Show that's normally here every January, uh, that wasn't here this year because of the pandemic. I saw where that has been uh, rescheduled for next year in January, and they are coming back. That's a huge, huge convention here in Las Vegas. And that will be at the convention center next uh, next January. So that's great news. And I saw some of the smaller events and conventions are starting to come back to Las Vegas, especially after June first when everything uh, reopens to a hundred percent. So. Southwest Airline Jet. Palazzo Drive right here coming up on. So you see the uh, that big dome thing is where Fashion Show Mall is. Across the street there. The Trump Tower right behind that.
shops here, restaurants from the uh, side here. So the ones on the other side. And there we are, coming up on the Las Vegas Strip. So this road right here at Las Vegas Strip, it's like goes from Sands Avenue, which we just came through. And on the other side, it goes to uh, Spring Mountain Road. As you can see, kind of the mountains in the background there over that pedestrian bridge on the west side of Las Vegas. Alright everybody, so I think that's going to do it for today's walkthrough. Low Wolf Rick, thank you very much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. At the time of starting this recording, uh, we currently have 1,255 subscribers. We appreciate you very much. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching our videos. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We greatly appreciate that. All right, everybody, take care of yourselves, okay? Stay healthy, and uh, we will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>